Hello guys, welcome to Metten. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, blood supply of the duodenum. We will also look at the venous drainage, lymphatic drainage and also the nerve supply of the duodenum. So coming to arterial supply. Arterial supply of duodenum. So if the duodenum is situated like this, then mainly arterial supply is by the, just tell you, this is the common hepatic artery from the celiac trunk. So the common hepatic artery will give two, two branches, one the hepatic artery and they have the gastroduodenal artery. The gastroduodenal artery will give the supraduodenal branch, the retroduodenal branch and also the infraduodenal branch. And the infraduodenal branch which is nothing but as the superior pancreatico duodenal artery. So this will give a branch like this superior pancreatic or duodenal artery and then we have the one more artery called as the superior mesenteric artery sma and then it will this will give the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery which will anastomose with the superior pancreatic or duodenal artery so coming to arterial supply of the duodenum so the upper half of the duodenum will develop from the foregut right that's why the upper half is supplied from the celiac trunk which will supply the foregut and the lower half of the duodenum is uh, developing from the midgut therefore the supply of the lower half of the midgut is from the superior mesenteric artery so uh, firstly the superior pancreatic duodenal artery which is branch of the gastroduodenal artery it is supplied by the superior pancreatic duodenal artery which is branch of the gastroduodenal artery uh, branch of the common hepatic and then it is also supplied by the inferior pancreatico duodenal artery inferior pancreatico duodenal artery which is supplied by the superior mesenteric artery and then these two will anastomose anastomose these two will anastomose to form the arterial arcade. arcade. Each anastomotic arterial arcade will give us a row of vasa recta. It will give a row of vasa recta. So, this the vasa recta of the anterior arcade will supply the anterior surface of the duodenum and those of the posterior arcade will supply the posterior surface of the duodenum and between the two rows of the vasa recta, the head of the pancreas is situated. And then we have the third artery which is called as the supraduodenal supraduodenal artery of Wilkie supraduodenal artery of Wilkie so this is the branch of the gastroduodenal artery which will supply the anterior surface of the first part of the duodenum and then the fourth arterial supply we will be discussing is the retroduodenal branches retroduodenal branches of the hepatic artery we have the retroduodenal branches of the common hepatic artery which will supply the uh, duodenum we also have the branches from the right gastroepiploic artery right gastroepiploic artery which will supply the greater curvature of the stomach so small branches from the right gastroepiploic artery will also supply the uh, lower part of the duodenum we also have artery from the jejunal branch jejunal branch of the we uh, superior mesenteric artery will give jejunal branches right so a branch from the jejunal branch will also supply the fourth part of the duodenum so this is the arterial supply of the duodenum supplied by the superior pancreatic or duodenal artery and also the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery this comes from the gastroduodenal artery this will come from the superior mesenteric artery they both will anastomose together to give the superior arterial arcade and the posterior arterial arcade which then will divide into the different vasa recta to supply the different surfaces we also have the supraduodenal artery of the Wilkie, a branch from the gastroduodenal artery, which is supplied the superior part of the first part of the duodenum. We also have a retroduodenal branch from the hepatic artery. We have a branch from the right gastroepiploic artery and also a branch from the jejunal branches of the superior mesenteric artery. So these all combined arteries will supply the duodenum. Now let's look at the venous drainage of the duodenum. So coming to venous drainage of the duodenum. What do we have in the venous drainage? The veins will correspond to the arteries that are supplying the duodenum and they drain into splenic vein, superior mesenteric vein and in the portal vein. So they will drain into the portal vein, superior mesenteric vein and also the splenic vein. So all the arteries corresponding arteries corresponding arteries will divide into the corresponding veins 
virtual sub drain into the portal vein superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein so coming last coming to the lymphatic drainage of the duodenum so the lymph vessels will follow the arteries and most of them will drain into pancreatic or duodenal nodes most of them will drain into the pancreatic or duodenal duodenal nodes which are lying along the inner curve of the duodenum we have the inner curve of the duodenum right so these nodes are situated along the inner curve of the duodenum which is which is at the junction of the pancreas from here the efferents will drain into the celiac and the superior mesenteric lymph nodes they will drain into the celiac lymph nodes celiac nodes and also the superior mesenteric nodes and then these will finally will drain into the cisterna chile cisterna chile of the thoracic duct cisterna chile of the thoracic duct so this is about the lymphatic drainage finally we will discuss about the nerve supply of the duodenum so the duodenum has both sympathetic as well as parasympathetic supply right sympathetic is from the t6 to t9 segments t6 to t9 spinal segments and the parasympathetic is from the vagus nerve both both right and the west, left vagus nerve will supply the pa parasympathetic innervation through the celiac and superior mesenteric plexus through which plexus we have the celiac plexus as well as the superior mesenteric plexus superior mesenteric plexus and celiac plexus through the both the vagus nerve they come from the parasympathetic and sympathetic is from the t6 to t9 segments and uh, this is about the nerve supply of the duodenum thank you thank you guys thank you for watching video till the end if you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also share it to your other friends and people thank you so much